In this video, I'm going to explain to you what the head CPI actually is. Now, if you've been looking at head rackets relatively recently, or if you are playing with a head racket right now, you might have looked at the racket and you may have seen this right here, this number. This says 200. I know it's a little bit hard because the camera doesn't want to focus, but that says 200. So what that number actually is, is part of head's CPI, or as they would call it, their control power index. Now, what this control power index is, is essentially just a way for head to classify how their rackets are going to play and what they're going to focus on when they make them. So if you see a racket that is between the 100 to 500 range, you're usually looking at a racket that is designed to be more control oriented. These are typically seen as rackets that are like this one I said here, the Head Gravity Pro, or pretty much almost any single head prestige racket you ever see. And maybe even some of the Head Radicals and a few of the other head gravities as well. Now there are different rackets from different lines, some of the more powerful and more friendly lines from head that will sometimes fall below this range. I know the Head Speed Pro, I believe is about a three or a 400. So it is important to know that if you're looking at a head racket and you see that number on here, I know it's, it's usually right here around the throat, it's to, if it's between 100 to 500, you're typically looking at a more control-oriented racket. If you're looking at something that says 500 to 1,000 on it, you're typically looking at a more powerful racket. Now with that, these are the rackets that are typically a lot more helpful, especially if you've not been playing as long. So say something like the Head Boom, I'll say the MP or even the Team. You also have the Head Extreme MP or the Extre M Head Extreme MP Lite and the Team as well. And mainly just the rackets that have the bigger head sizes, so the larger sweet spots that are more helpful with power and more helpful with spin, but maybe not have as much control to them. That's where the 100s to 500s come in because they have a lot of help with control, but they're not very powerful. They don't really help that much with spin. You have to do a lot of that more so on your own because the racket is just designed to give you the control rather than helping you in other facets of your game. And now the reason why I felt that this was important to talk about is because when recently I had someone that I was working with and they were trying to find a tennis racket for their daughter and they had been demoing rackets and having the daughter try them and they were looking at the CPI, but the thing was they were looking at it backwards. So instead of using a racket or giving a racket for his daughter to try that was in the 500 to 1000 category, which is, which is what her racket that wasn't head was, was, would have been around, he decided that she was to demo the 100s to 500s in the CPI because he thought that those would be more comparable to what she was using. She was using an older racket. It was a bigger head size. I think it was about a 110 and because she had just, she was just starting out. I think she said, I think he said that she had got the racket from like Walmart or something. And so he thought by going to this 100 to 500, it would be more useful or an easier change for his daughter to switch into. When in fact, he was supposed to be looking around the 500 to 1000 to get a racket that is going to be a little bit more of an easier spec change and not as drastic of a shift. So that's why with the head CPI, it is there to just give us a guideline as to how the rackets are going to play and what we could we are to expect from the racket. But if you don't know what to look at, it doesn't really make any sense. But now you know. 100 to 500 on the scale, you're looking at more of a control oriented racket, probably a smaller head size, not, real, not usually as much help with spin or power or anything. But if you look at the 500 to 1000, you're usually looking at the more powerful rackets. The higher the number you go, the more powerful you're gonna get. The lower number you go, the more control you're gonna get. 
And that's where you can really find a racket that is going to be suitable or semi-suitable to what you have. But please be sure to demo the rackets to make sure that they work for your game because I don't want you to buy a brand new racket, play with it once, find out you hate it, and then not be able to return it. That is not good, not fun, and we don't need that, especially if we're spending over $200 on a brand new racket. So with that being said, if you like the video, leave a like on it. Comment down below any questions you have about the head CPI or any head rackets that you're planning on trying here soon. I want to know what you're thinking. What do you want to try out, especially now that you know about the CPI index, as well as subscribe to the channel so that we can grow the channel, get the information out there from the people that have it to the people that need it. There's a lot of tennis misinformation in the tennis community. So I took it upon myself to make this channel so that we can get rid of that and enjoy the game of tennis that we all love so much more without having to worry about injury from our gear. And as always, take care.